Okay, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to complete the building of these units so we'll be able to build the unit in the game but as well as instantiating it we're going to add the health bar to the unit um, so we can select it and view the health update the pathfinding system so our units can walk around the uh, newly instantiated unit and also change the height a little bit because we don't want the unit to intersect the terrain so instead of updating the terrain height at this stage we're just going to raise it up a little bit using our heights points test data okay so um, if I hop over to my menu setup script where we said if the mouse button is down and we can build the unit then we can go ahead and create it but we need to do one more test because if I hop over and play the game this is a scenario when we click the menu button so here I am we can build the unit when I'm when my mouse is here and I'm left clicking if um, if that was the case and we decided to build the unit the unit would in fact be built here when we're clicking in the GUI menu so we need to change this very simple thing to do so I'm just going to add another public boolean so public static boolean in GUI menu okay just to test if we're in the menu or not um, if we click a button in the menu so here we can say in GUI equals true we are in fact in the menu and um, when we want to build the units we can test if we are in the menu so if we're not in GUI menu go ahead and create the units and right at the end of later updates we can say in GUI menu equals false and then everything will start again at the top of the script so we want it to be false to begin with sorry so it's false when we first uh, start the script okay so this shouldn't happen now um, so we can go ahead and build our units so firstly we need to instantiate the unit secondly we want to update the unit height based on the terrain slopiness um, we need to call the on unit spawn event because we are spawning a new unit to add the health bar and the last thing would be to update pathfinding system cool so update the grid graph we created so our units can walk around this so the first thing to instantiate the unit well we need one more piece of data and that is the unit path very simple to do again so public static string current ghost unit path let's call this okay so if we select one of the menu items we can say the current unit path is our units path list at this index because remember to, to display this menu we're looping through all of the uh, all of the units so we can get the unit path at this index and when we deselect the unit in our unit ghost we can then just say menu setup current ghost unit path equals null because there is no ghost selected cool so that solves that problem we can then go and instantiate the unit so game object new unit equals instantiate so then we can go ahead and load it resources load uh, current ghost unit path type of game object this is always going to be the case the position of it is going to be our ground mouse point it's just the point where the mouse is lying on the terrain and uh, let's put quaternion identity for the rotation cool so now we can go ahead and change the the rotation based on the ghost unit so new unit transform Euler angles equals our ghost transform Euler angles so just updating the rotation to the ghost object so everything matches so the second thing is the unit height so we've got the uh, the tallest height point in our height points test so here it is tallest height I'm going to make this public and change this to a um, uppercase replace all of them so now we can go ahead and access this value in our menu setup okay so we can say if the ghost object transform find child height points so if there are height points in this ghost object we can then update the height so new unit transform position equals new vector 3 we only need to change the y value so we can put new unit transform position x 
the y value we're going to get that tallest height value so we can say ghost get component ghost test height points tallest height and the z values new unit transform position z okay so that's the second thing we need to do just to make sure the unit doesn't interact with the terrain too much okay so before we test this let's just do these two things um, we need to call on unit spawn so we, on unit spawn is in our unit controller we've set up a, de a delegate and a couple of events so we need to call the on unit spawn which is in the static method call unit spawn so I'm just going to call this method so unit controller call unit spawn bring in our new unit so then a new health bar will be created because our health manager is um, subscribed to this event basically on unit spawn and that uh, that gives the unit a health bar so the last thing we need to do is update the pathfinding very simple thing to do a star path active update graphs by the way we need to import the pathfinding script for this to work so let's just say using pathfinding update graph method we need to bring in the uh, the collider bounds from our unit so we can say new unit transform collider bounds and um, that will update the uh, the graph cool so everything should be working now let's just um, go back and double check and test the game okay so let's test the solar farm first I'm going to click it's been created let's get rid of the ghost object so I can select this in multiple ways it has a health bar here and uh, okay. if I select my humanoid robot it will walk around to this uh, solar farm so it won't walk through it okay we can pause the game and um, test this in the scene view as you can see the the pathfinding system has been updated as well cool so that seems to be working fine uh, the wooden post very similar story we can rotate the unit click in the game to instantiate it anywhere we like and uh, these just act like normal units we've been creating we can select multiple units if we wanted to like so okay so I think that's everything in this video we've got a good system going for creating our units in the game so hopefully I'll see you in the next video